Hello everybody, welcome back. It's evening and it's a Juro and I am back again and we are going to continue with the Calgary Reading Meetup. Today's reading is oh, going to be about the pen and the ink stand that is by Hans Christian Andersen. Okay, I'm going to share my screen right now and we'll begin the reading. In a poet's room, where his inkstand stood on the table, the remark was once made. It is wonderful what can be brought out of an inkstand. What will come next? It is indeed wonderful. Yes, certainly, said the inkstand to the pen and to the other articles that stood on the table. That's what I always say. It is wonderful and extraordinary what a number of things come out of me. It's quite incredible. And I really never know what is coming next when that man dips his pen into me. One drop out of me is enough for half a page of paper and what cannot half a page contain. From all the works of the poet are produced, all those imaginary characters whom people fancy they have known or met and all the deep feeling, the humor and the vivid pictures of nature. I myself don't understand how it is, for I am not acquainted with nature, but it is certainly in me. From me have gone forth to the world those wonderful descriptions of charming maidens and of brave knights on prancing steeds, of the halt and the blind, and I know not what more, for I assure you, I never think of these things. There you are right, said the pen. If you don't think at all, if you did, you would see that you can only provide the means. You give the fluid that I may place upon the paper what dwells in me and what I wish to bring to light. It is the pen that writes. No man doubts that. And indeed, most people understand as much about poetry as an old inkstand. You have had very little experience, replied the inkstand. You have hardly been in service a week and are already half worn out. Do you imagine you are a poet? You are only a servant. And before you came, I had many like you. Some of the Goose family and others of English manufacture. I know a quill pen as well as I know a steel one. I have had both sorts in my service and I shall have many more as long as he comes. The man who performs the mechanical part and writes down what he obtains from me, I would like to know what will be the next thing he gets out of. Ink pot, retorted the pen contemptuously. Late in the evening, the poet returned home from a concert where he had been quite enchanted by the admirable performance of a famous violin player. The player had produced from his instrument a richness of tone that sometimes sounded like tinkling water drops or rolling pearls, sometimes like the birds twittering in chorus, and then again, rising and swelling like the wind through the fir trees. The poet felt as if his own heart were weeping, but in tones of melody, like the sound of a woman's voice, these sounds seemed to come not only from the strings, but from every part of the instrument. It was a wonderful performance and a difficult piece, and yet the bow seemed to glide across the strings so easily that one would think anyone could do it. The violin and the bow seemed independent of their master who guided them. 
It was as if soul and spirit had been breathed into the instrument and the audience forgot the performer and the beautiful sounds he produced. Not so the poet. He remembered him and wrote down his thoughts on the subject. How foolish it would be for the violin and the bow to boast of their performance. And yet we men often commit that folly. The poet, the artist, the man of science in his laboratory, the general, we all do it. And yet we are only the instruments which the Almighty uses. To him alone the honor is due. We have nothing in ourselves of which we should be proud. Yes, this is what the poet wrote. He wrote it in the form of a parable and called it the master and the instruments. That is what you get, madame, said the pen to the inkstand when the two were alone again. Did you hear him read aloud what I had written down? Yes, what I gave you to write, retorted the inkstand. That was a cut at you because of your conceit, to think that you could not understand that you were being quizzed. I gave you a cut from within me. Surely I must know my own satire. Ink pitcher, cried the pen. Writing stick, retorted the inkstand, and each of them felt satisfied that he had given a good answer. It is pleasing to be convinced that you have settled a matter by your reply. It is something to make you sleep well. And they both slept well over it. But the poet did not sleep. Thoughts rose within him, like the tones of the violin, falling like pearls or rushing like the strong wind through the forest. He understood his own heart in these thoughts. They were as a ray from the mind of the great master of all minds. To him be all the honor. That was The Pen and the Inkstand by Hans Christian Andersen. Narrated by Ejiro Naibe. I want you to note that this reading is done under the Calgary Meetup, the Calgary Reading Meetup group. And we meet as frequently as possible. We have um, events that we've set up Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Yes. And then I still do try to um, schedule new events daily. Sometimes I leave the Zoom open. The Zoom description for the for those of you watching on YouTube will be in the YouTube description box. For those of you on um, Zoom, where I'm recording right now, I'm going to leave it in the chat box. You can join me again in other events, okay? Okay, and so just a little bit about our Calgary Reading Meetup group. If you are live, living in the Calgary um, Meetup area, actually, you do not need to live in the Calgary uh, Meetup area at all. You can live anywhere, really. Um, this event takes place over Zoom forever and ever and ever. I will not be taking doing things in person, I don't think. Um, maybe I may change my mind in the future, but as of now, I will not. As you can see, I am the organizer of the group. Um, and this group is for literature lovers. Our members are actually called readers. Um, and I hope this will reflect later. I think I changed this earlier, but um, it still says members here. But um, our members are called readers. So if you would like to join us, and be a reader. Um, you can read any text of your choice. Let me just go over this. Hello, literature lovers. If you're a fan of reading out loud and listening to audiobooks, 
This is the online meetup for, for you. In this group, the main reader will read a text of their choice for 30 minutes on Zoom. I, Ajiro, the organizer right here, I will be the main reader most of the days, but I hope that as more people join our group that um, I'm able to uh, get other people who are participating, who are willing to step up and even, you know, take control of the group themselves, you know. Um, the main reader will be the group organizer by default, that's me. However, interested members can request to read for any upcoming days or weeks or months if you want to. Um, we will figure all that out. Just inbox me and we can discuss that. Event times and frequency will vary. So please check the information for the specific event. I will try to keep readings at around 7 p.m. or 8 p.m., but sometimes they may happen at 9 p.m. Um, these are for the ones that are not scheduled. So for those events that I just randomly do, sometimes they'll be at 7, they'll be at 8, they'll be at 9. But if you're looking for a set date, the um, events that are set on the meetup that are upcoming, I will go into the um, upcoming events and I will show you what that looks like. Or actually, let me just do that for you right now even. So upcoming events. Okay, so we have another reading of Hans Christian Andersen, his um, fairy tales. On Monday, today is Saturday, so Sunday we're not doing anything. Although Sunday I'll probably try to throw something in um, in the evening. But we're going to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. So it's just gonna keep going on like that. I will try to edit them um, ahead of time, right before the event. In fact, I'm gonna try and do all of that tonight. Um, just throw in a whole bunch of which readings we're gonna be doing, what page they will be on. The website um, for the reading itself is already on here, access the reading here. And then usually, let me show you what a past event would look like where I put the information. So past events that have happened, we've had four so far. So for example, the Daisy. So the Daisy reading of Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tales. Okay. And so I'll put today's reading is the Daisy, page 12. You go to the reading and then you're able to just go straight. In fact, you could just click the table of contents. This is what it'll take you to. And so, um, if you just click the table of contact, contents, see the daisy, page 12, the daisy. And so that's what we read that day. You can join the Zoom meeting. It'll always be this one. It's never going to change. I left it open to just the public, to anybody to join. Um, if anybody is being inappropriate, I will just uh, report them to meet up. That way they know about that person is... Um, either a part of the, of the group of the meetup or is scouring the group um, and is using their platform for not good things. Um, so I do wanna keep this as safe as possible. That's why I do try to you know, always record this. We always have evidence of anything, um, of anybody misbehaving. It's also for our readers' safety too. So people may want their kids to read. We don't want any types of people around so if you do want your kids reading or your kids want to be a part, please tell us ahead of time. We want to disable video chat because we don't know some people. We just want to make sure children are always protected. And we need to figure out ways to manage that. So I want more people who join this group who have more ways of caring and um, pushing this forward, you know? Um, and then just finally, I think, um, just want everyone to know this event is free. I plan on keeping it free um, and it is open to the public. However, if you would like, please consider giving to the host or the main reader um, via PayPal at ajiroanaibe1 or interact at edgeanaibe at gmail.com. That's E-J-E-N-A-I-B as in boy, E at gmail.com. Um, just once more, the PayPal would be at E J I R O E N A I B as in boy E one. Because every dollar or cent helps to keep this meetup running daily. We do have fees, membership fees that we have to pay to meet up um, in order to keep this group running. 
So anything you want to donate would, would really be lovely. It is absolutely not mandatory at all. You don't have to do it. And I really plan on just keeping this event free. I want this to be free, open to the public. I want people to be inspired and to take this and do more of things like this. It's something that I looked for and I, I couldn't find in, in, in this format. So I hope this format um, appeals to people like me who are looking for something like this. So I just want you to know that um, also if you're also a reader who is um, reading for a particular day and you also want to connect your, collect your donations, obviously it wouldn't be fair if people are donating to me and you're the one who read and you picked out the reading. Um, but I want you to please bring your own personal method of payment if that's what you want to do, your own PayPal, your own Interact or um, um, SMS to give. Some people have that. Um, however, all of, all in all, I just, I really want to thank you all for your love and your support. You are so valuable and you are so wanted here. You're wanted by me. I'm thankful for you. You're needed in this place. Please come again. I will continue talking. I will be here. Hopefully forever. I want to be consistent with this. I hope you're enjoying it. Thank you very much. Have a lovely, lovely night. I'm going to stop sharing now. And um, yes, I think that's all. See you later. Bye-bye.